Hey guys, Michael here with another Top 5 Fridays with Apps Every Day. And today we're going to be talking about the Top 5 Note-Taking Apps. And these are in no particular order, we're just going to jump right into it. First off, talking about Nebo. Now I'm not going to go into super in-depth into all of these apps, I really want to just talk about their standout features. So pretty much all of them, of course, are going to have some sort of typing or writing note-taking feature, you know, create bookmarks, things like that. Uh, but I really just want to talk about the standout features. So with Nebo, again, you can choose towards at the top. You can either type out notes or write them out. And if you're like me, and I'm currently on my iPad Pro with Apple Pencil, I like writing things out. Um, and what's cool here is you'll notice um, it's automatically dictating, and I'm realizing how hard it is to write and talk at the same time. Uh, and what's cool here is if I double tap, it will actually convert it into text. If I undo that, uh, I can also do a bunch of things with the actual writing to um, basically edit it and change it. So let's say the I and I'm I meant to like separate that for some reason. I can do a top down line right in the middle, and it will add a separation. Or if I wrote it out that way and I was like, whoops, that's supposed to be I'm, then I go bottom up and it's going to pull together. I can also do that in between words to create a new paragraph, basically. And I can do the same thing, bottom up, to move it. I can do strike throughs to remove the whole word. I can also scribble. Or I could do it to a single letter. So, uh, whoops, that was terrible. Uh, if I just wanted to take out this M... Then I could scribble on that and rewrite it however I want. And yeah, so this one really has the ability to kind of go through and change without having to interact with complicated menu screens, um, which I really like. So it makes for editing and revising pages very easy. Again, you can create different notebooks. Uh, you can obviously have as many different notes as you want. But yeah, that's the biggest standout feature of Nebo. Moving on here, uh, we're going to Noted, which we have talked about here on, before. Um, I showed the phone version, so this is the iPad version, which is nice. So nice here is I can go into different notes. And you'll notice here, this is a production meeting I had a while ago with super sloppy handwriting, very generic. Um, and again, at the top, I basically recorded the whole almost hour conversation so I can always go back and listen to that and what I did the reason I did bullet points is you'll notice the different time stamps if I tap on these notes they'll go right to that header um, and so I can see right here right card internal events uh, 24 and if I hit play then I can just listen to that uh, conversation and remember what I need to remember so I really like this so if I'm creating a new note here. Again, like the other one, I can choose to type things out, um, but I can also write them. The only downside is I wish it was all in one template. When you hit the writing, it basically opens up this canvas so you can, you know, draw things and write and sign and do all that. And if I hit done here, it does add it directly underneath so it all looks uniform, um, but I really wish I could just like write and and type all in the same kind of playing field almost. But the recording feature is definitely nice, so if I erase that there, bring this back up, and I hit record again, again it's going to start listening, and as soon as I start typing, um, so I can be like, oh, right now in this meeting we're talking about section one. And so it knows right at that six second mark is when it starts typing that, but then right around 16 seconds, we start talking about section two and so on and so forth. You can add different attachments. So you can take pictures, you can attach documents. So it's very versatile in what you can add, kind of like the new built-in notes app, which we'll get to in a second. Um, but yeah, this recording feature is incredibly nice. And it even has a new feature involving some machine learning where it can uh, get rid of empty spaces. So if you have like a two hour conversation, 
but maybe there's like a lull for five minutes, it will actually go in and remove that. Super cool. Next up, we're talking about Notability. This guy uh, is great if you need to revise PDFs a lot. Uh, so this is an example document it comes with. Again, just like all the others, it gives you different tools where I can just scribble wherever I want. Uh, what I do really like about this one is it does treat it all as one canvas compared to Noted. So you notice that I can scribble right on top of this photo, but I can still go in and move the photo, which also now uh, takes the scribbles because it's kind of uh, attached to that asset, so to speak. This also does have a recording feature. You notice the little microphone towards the top uh, right, it's now recording. And now when I draw things or type things out, uh, it's going to be near that. So if I hit play, you'll notice what I drew is grayed out because in the timeline I haven't talked about it yet. So now when I scroll to that part that I actually mention it, it kind of draws it out as I'm playing. Now um, and now when I draw things or type things out, you can hear the recording there. So if you were to write out a bunch of things, it's basically you can go to the gray out point and basically, uh, yeah, scrub through and see where you're adding your notes. So this one's really kind of a nice um, overall, if you want everything to be on like one big canvas, it doesn't have the machine learning capabilities that Noted does. Uh, but yeah, those two share a lot of the same features. Moving on to Pen Ultimate, this is by Evernote. This one's really cool if you need different styles of paper. Um, so when you first bring up a new note, you'll see you have a ton of options for different stuff. You can literally, you know, have games in here. You have the license plate game if you've never played that. Um, I can add a new one here. You got monthly planners, uh, invoices, portraits, photo pages, uh, all that sort of stuff. If you're into music, you even have those. Um, and I really like these storyboards. Um, so you can literally, you know, draw out whatever's happening in a scene up here. And then write the captions below. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> That's not how you format storyboards. Uh, yeah, so this doesn't have any sort of recording uh, in terms of audio or things like that. This is more of a basic... Um, writing notepad just once you choose your different paper you can choose different sizes of ink uh, there is no typing feature i do really like the cutout feature so i can go in here cut this out and move it if i needed to cut those out move that cut this so that's pretty nice as well as the eraser you now some erasers kind of get rid of the whole thing this one is pressure sensitive so with my Apple Pencil here, I'm drawing very light, or if I press harder and move faster, you can see the eraser get kind of bigger for a moment. So yeah, so that's penultimate, pretty cool one. And let's see, that was one, two, three, four, and to our final one, we have the good old Notes app that's built in to any iOS device. They've really had quite the overhaul um, and updates with this, which I really like. You can create different folders, so YouTube videos. Um, these are some of the basic outlines that I've written for uh, YouTube videos before. Um, you can also paste links in here. So these are what I use for my YouTube description on my main channel for all my uh, gear links. And what's cool is if I go in to make a new note here, uh, you can add in graphs now, which is really cool. Um, so you can have different table charts. You can write. I really love the kind of pen texture um, as well as the white. I can double tap with my Apple Pencil to change the different uh, features. And I can open up my pen toolbox down here. And you'll see have kind of like the other ones have erasers, have a different pen and pencil eraser even have this cool ruler so if you need to uh, draw a line or something then you can get perfect 
angles. Draw it there. Pretty nice. Get rid of that edge. Boom. Turn that back off. Yeah, now you can import images. You can share it with someone if you want to share a list. You can also password protect. Um, so you can lock the note and put a password to it. If you want to, for example, save um, I don't know, login passwords or anything like that. And of course, it's install your iOS devices. So that's taking a quick look at all of the top five note-taking apps that I found. If you have any note-taking apps that you like, definitely let me know down in the comments below. And if you want to give me any recommendations for apps that you love, also leave that down in the comments. And check out all the download links in the description for these apps. And don't forget to come back Monday for more apps every day.